Hello, dear friends. I've been away for a little bit, for a few days, actually. As I left Edmund Island Monday morning to go help a friend work and put up his drywall in his new house, he's starting a new family, just got married, has a two-year-old baby, and he's an old friend of mine, and I feel like um, my heart tells me to help them, so I, I did. And I'm going back there Monday and Tuesday again quickly to finish up. The reason I'm recording this video, though, is to let you know that I was in town in the city for three and a half days, almost four, from Monday to Thursday. Um, and it's the first time I left Denman for that long since I can remember. You know, last year it, my daughter had a dance recital in town and I ended up staying in a motel overnight. And that felt strange, <laughs> you know, that's how rarely I spend nights away from my beautiful Denman Island. Um, but what I wanted to share with you is something I'm proud of, uh, of myself, and uh, we can all do this. Of course, being in town, um, I was very close, uh, literally just text messages and minutes away from having delivered to me whatever I like. Of course, since I'm on methadone and I'm not going to ask for opiates, I'm not interested in opiates. Um, but, you know, the city is full of cocaine, of crystal methamphetamines, you know, Ritalin, um, stuff like that, that uh, still might rock my boat, uh, you know, if I don't be careful, you know. Um, and I have to be honest, you know, the, during the days when I was working, I really felt like texting somebody. I really did, like texting somebody and telling them to please bring me a bag of something. I have cash uh, and just text me when you're on the road. I'll give you the address. I'll come out quickly. Nobody will even know and we'll just do it quick, just like that. And I'll have it. You know, and every day I uh, had to battle against my mind not to do that, you know. And um, instead, I got busy with the work. Instead, I would call my girlfriend, for example, and fill that void with her beautiful voice and inspiration and encouragement. Or I would talk to my friend who I'm working for. And, um, you know, I, I would also maybe smoke some cannabis instead. And the next thing you know, I would be able to move on with, with my day for the moment being. And so four days went by without me making one call and trying to get anything. And um, I'm, uh, yes, I am proud of myself. It took a lot of uh, inner strength and inner power. You know, I had to do this not only so that my daughter and my girlfriend don't have to worry each time I go into town, because that's not fair, you know. I did it also just to show myself that I can go to town and back without making stupid choices necessarily, you know. Life is not all about uh, dope and doing drugs. Unfortunately, when you are an addict, uh, it does become an obsession, you know, and even when you don't want them, it's almost like naturally you would engage in them because naturally it's what you do, you know. Um, it's naturally something you're not afraid of. Um, you know, it's something you would do usually when you make some money, right? And, uh, and go and relax, right? Um, for those people who know only those kind of pleasures, you know. I wish my lady was here so I could experience different kinds of pleasures, you know. Um, <clears throat> but my daughter will be here soon. She's coming today off the school bus and staying the night. It is Friday. And I am super happy because I'll be able to go for a walk with her to the store, pick up some groceries, pick up whatever she would like for daddy to cook for dinner to have for dessert, to have for breakfast tomorrow. 
and I'm gonna have a super cool time playing some soccer and talking to my girl, my daughter, you know, <laughs> my Eliska Kohana. So, on this lovely note, I wanna say hello to everybody again. I'm gonna go on with my Sunday, and thanks to not relapsing and not making the wrong choices, I am able to actually go and go on with my weekend and make the right choices. And um, that's beautiful, you know. Um, I hope that Monday and Tuesday I will have the same kind of wisdom with me. And um, I believe in all of you. Like I said before, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs>